Okay guys, um, just going to do a little um, brief uh, review of this um, uh, Hot Toys figure, the Crow, um, uh, from the um, uh, Brandon Lee from the 1994 uh, movie, and um, kind of like made infamous um, by the fact that Brandon Lee actually died on set. Um, he was um, accidentally uh, shot by a, um, a prop gun that hadn't been um, loaded properly or um, still had a cartridge in the chamber or something like that and um, yeah and uh, unfortunately he died on um, on set so um, yeah so anyway this is um, the Hot Toys figure um, that Hot Toys have produced and um, yeah it's uh, it's not a bad figure but you know I'm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed really uh, to be quite honest um, First and foremost, the uh, sculpt is, um, of course, uh, one of the um, one of the best things about this figure, as you'd come to expect with Hot Toys. Uh, but uh, the clothing is, um, I'd say, I don't know, it just doesn't feel Hot Toys quality. The, the jacket just feels, I don't know, just, um, I don't know, it, it just seems like it's a little bit of a rushed figure, really. And um, the body that it's on, uh, there's a lot of play in the in the limbs and all that. A lot of the limbs are loose and stuff like that. I suppose you could tighten them up, um, pop them off, and all that. And the hands kind of like um, the hand comes off um, remar remarkably easy, just like that. And um, like it's a bit of a bugger to uh, get to stay on there and stuff like that. And also, um, when you tilt the neck up, um, because um, of the way the um, the shirt uh, hangs down, uh, it kind of like shows off that connector, which you know probably would have been a better idea to have a um, like a separate head and neck. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that kind of like throws off the sculpt, so you can only really have him like looking down really. Um, if you want to avoid that, and um, that's the uh, little crow sort of like piece that you get with it, uh, it's just attached to a little base there, and the little base as well is it's kind of like it sh should be um, like it's um, featherweight, so kind of like it has a tendency to um, topple a little bit. It's not positioned right, uh, so if they put a little bit of weight in that, that would have been uh, kind of like a better idea really so yeah there's a few things um sort of like i miss with this figure which is a bit of a shame really because it's from um kind of like a really good movie and all that and um i don't know it just feels that it's a little bit of a half-assed attempt by by hot toys really and um it's kind of like out of scale as well um i took the um the short um foot pegs off uh, and I've put in medium ones just to bump his height up a little bit because he was just a little bit taller than the Bruce Lee figures and like Brandon Lee was a lot taller than his father so um, so yeah there was that issue as well and um, you know you don't get a heap of accessories um, this is just the standard version so you don't get the um, the uh, lightning rod or the weather vane or whatever it is um, so like the only accessory that you really do get is like the guitar um, so you get none of his weapons, like none of his um, handguns or the shotgun that he uses so that's a little bit of a shame um, considering uh, you don't get a lot and all that and you know prices keep going up for these things and certainly in this case the body the body seems to yeah, not bad articulation there but as I say like the um, just feels like a little bit loose and like like a little bit rushed out the door sort of type um, so as I say um, like there's um, been a lot of reviews on this guy and uh, so I just thought um, I'd do a little um, brief overview so you know it's not Hot Toys um, best attempt really it's, uh, seems a little bit a little bit rushed to me I think it did come out earlier than what was expected and maybe that's accounting for it um, but yeah, so um, it's not a bad figure overall, you know, it looks good on your shelf and all that. And, um, you know, if, if Hot Toys didn't set their own bar so high, then probably I, I wouldn't criticise it as much as I have done.
but but yeah I mean if you're gonna get this figure if you like it um, then you're gonna get it whatever so um, but yeah um, it's a little bit a little bit underwhelming and stuff like that so um, so yeah